Right hello everybody, English Woodsman here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm out tonight, I'm going solo camping in apparently haunted mill. Now, yeah I can see it's just me on the screen so I won't keep you for long. It's only half five and it's pitch black already. So I'm going to make my way across, you're not going to see it I don't think. I've got my uh, food here. You're not going to see far in front. That is how dark it is. Apparently 18 people died in this mill in an explosion. So I'm going to do a solo camp there. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Who wouldn't be? Right, I'll see you when I get to this room I want to be in. Right, I'm at the room where I want to be at. I came, I think about two weeks ago to meet some of the YouTubers over in here. And that's what made me really want to come out and do a stealth camp here. Uh, Oscar Outdoors was supposed to come and join me tonight. But he can't do it tonight. He asked can we come tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. So we've sort of set ourselves a, ch a challenge. I did it tonight. He's got to do it tomorrow. And that's probably the best we can both do it. And we both experienced it for in the summertime we do come together. Look, I do feel a bit nervous. I'm not going to sit here, see that glaze on camera there, I don't know if you can. I am feeling nervous, I'm not going to lie to you, I think anybody will do who's alone. So many different stories, okay. We'll have a look round, I'll try my best to take you all round place, I, I can't explore it all. I don't want the video to be too big of that because at the end of the video on the screen, I put a little uh, video clip there, if you press that, that is me exploring this whole, all of the mill anyway. So you can see that if you want to see more about the mill as it is. But yeah, I want to get out of my way, I'm going to go for a walk, I'm going to get out because I don't want to get set up and then do it. I'm going to stash my bag and I'm going to get moving. And like I said, yeah I am nervous, apparently 18 people died in an explosion, so that's possibly 18 ghosts. I can't see it, but I am nervous about it. So I'll see you when I get round a little bit. Uh, I'm just having a walk around a little bit. I want to bring you in here because this is where the uh, explosion apparently happened. This is where the 18 people died. At. Apparently, look, I'm saying that with a little bit of as if in my voice, you know what I mean? But I've been here through daytime, and I tell you what, the dark adds to fear. And you know what? I'm 36, fully grown man. I've got kids of my own, and I am. Nervous to come in in here, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry, people, but I am nervous about coming in here, honestly. You know what? There's going to be people who are watching this thinking, oh, I'd go in there, no problems, what's up with you? It's easy saying that come down and make the video, upload it to YouTube, I challenge anybody to do it. I've already challenged Oscar Outdoors, like I said. But yeah. Right, I'll take you down to some other parts, I'm getting out of here. I really don't like it in here. I think I slipped my mind, play too many games. Oh God, why am I so... I don't know why I'm scared, but I am, if that makes any sense. Right, I'm gonna walk on and I'll bring you back in a minute. Right everybody, last bit before I go make dinner, because I'm getting hungry, and I'm getting nervous. Oh, noises. Oh. This is the only door in the whole abandoned building. The mill, let's call it. What is locked. Oh, we near full over then. I can break it off if I want, bolt cutters, but I'm not sure if I get done for 
criminal damage because I don't know what's behind there. So let me know in the comments, do you think I should open it just because of the state of the building? Or do you think I'm best just leave it shut? It might release all the 18 ghosts, you never know. Could be the ghost house. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of bad noises now. Really bad. Oh. Fuck. Turn my light off a minute. I'm going back to where we started off the video, people. Right, so I just want to bring you back to show you my sleeping system setup. We've got the OEX self inflating mat there. And uh, you all know about the OEX bivvy. Push Pro bivvy. And then I've got the OEX heat inflicted strips there. That keeps your body heat back at you. Now, YouTuber uh, Jim Bob Outdoors, I think he's called, you're all about it being inside the sleeping bag. So I'm going to give it another try. Plus, because it's got these heat strips here, it reflects your body heat. And I'm cold, so I'm hoping that'll work. It's still a little bit muddy from my last camp. And then my OEX 400 sleeping bag. I know all, all my equipment's OEX. People have said this quite a lot to me. That's just my brand. It's what I like to use. It's local, easy to get to, go outdoors. And then just before I do get in my sleeping bag, I'm going to get in this sleeping bag liner. I've got uh, another piece of OEX equipment, if you give it a second. Yep, yeah, this is the old OEX cook pot. You've probably seen the uh, new one, what they brought out on my channel before. So I'm going to use this again, bring this back into the video. And then the OEX kettle. It's a bit torched from being on my bush box stove a bit. Not too bad though, is it? Right, well, you know what? I am nervous. I'm still a bit freaked out now and again by noise. I've got my back against the wall. A little bit of security there for myself, I think. And the lantern is starting to run out of battery power now. I don't know if it's haunted mill. I'm not too sure. But... It is different to what I'm used to. I think that's why my body's on edge. But I'm all right so far. I think we're in here a few hours. Got set up now. We sit on my phone with pipes from YouTube people who's commenting on my channel and stuff. That's basically kept my nose out of the ghost's life and just going with what I'm doing. Got some nice food, so I'm gonna get cooking next. And then I'm gonna hit the sack because I'm getting tired. What's a good thing for me? Let's cook some food. And I'll get back to you while I'm doing it. Right, well I really don't know what's up with focus on the phone. Seems to be having a little bit of problem, so let me know if the uh, footage is alright for you. No. Clear us of it. Whoa! See that? <coughs> that warmed me up a bit, didn't it? Just gonna stick my kettle on people. I'm gonna wait till that boils and then we'll have a nice coffee. Right, so that's my kettle boiled. That didn't take long at all, that. Yeah, let me know in comments below if you like this sort of video. Because there's plenty of abandoned places where we can keep going to. And come along with experience from if you want. I'm gonna film more like this, you know, instead of just being like in woodlands or places like that. Like I said earlier, this is a complete change for me. Sleeping in an abandoned building where there's pointless ghosts. Cheers. And cheers to the ghosts if they're around me. Ah, I forgot this cup thing gets way too warm around the edges. I'm gonna have to get myself a really nice camping cup, I think. Mm, 
that's nice. Mm. Even though it's red hot to drink, I'm gonna have blisters in my mouth tomorrow, won't I? Yeah, I'm trying to keep the uh, torchlight down to minimum usage. I don't want to have it flashing around the building in case anybody else comes around and stuff. Or, you know what I mean, don't you? Stealth camping. Try to keep the street and out. This streak. This streak. This streak. Anyway, yeah, you know what I mean, don't you? Try to keep out away from people. I don't want to draw attention to myself. That's why there's no fire tonight, if people are asking. I'm going to cook all my food on the little uh, gas stove that I just used then. I don't know about this mill. I still keep hearing strange noises. But they're not scary no noises, if you get what I mean as well. Score it for people. It's all I can do. If I get too scared or something to creeps the hell out of me, I'll leave some of my stuff here and I'll just go home. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to stay around if I get too scared. I'll just go home. Leave my stuff here. Come back in the morning. Bring my girlfriend to protect me from ghosts. <laughs> I'll come and get my stuff then. But so far, so good. No, it's happened. Bit of wind noise. That's round about it. <sighs> See you in a bit. Right, so I'm going to make sure I do this without making too much jumping around with torch. Belly pork slices, people. Belly pork slices. Get a load of them. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the sachet out of this and I'm going to marinate all the, the pork in this sweet chilli flavouring thing. That's good. And then we've got some I don't know, it's just a load of veg stuff mixed up, you just cook it. And then for the morning, come on, you know by now if you're regular at my channel, I've got some black pudding, but I've got two packs of black pudding. I was going to have some when I came, but I got too busy looking around and then mess around with YouTube. And then seven thick rashes of bacon. So that'll probably be my breakfast at the morning, tonight. We're going to concentrate and cook these two. This is going to be a nice meal, people. Really nice meal. Right, what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see it all right, is you get this right little bag here. And somehow, I need to open it up. There we go. Open it up wide. Well, that's not very big, is it? Oh, there we go. Now it is better. I know the light's not brilliant on video, people, I'm sorry. You get your sachet, stick it in there. Is that little label thing going in there. Oh no, it's there, look. And then, move them ones out of there. Get these. And one by one. Throw them in at the back. Let's just get them in. And then mix it all up really well. Beautiful, they're coated really nice already. <laughs> That's what we want, people. All that belly pork and that sweet chili sauce. Right, we're just going to leave it there for a few minutes. And then, let's get set up so we can do some cooking. I don't know if I'm getting overconfident being in here. Some noises not come through in that room. I try my best to ignore them. I don't know. I don't want to get bothered now too much because I'm just starting to cook my tea. But I don't know. There's something just not quite. Oh, I'm not going to get to me, people. Let's carry on what we're doing. Right, so I've managed to sort of like pin me. 
uh, light up to the uh, windowsill so I can get a good uh, vision for you here so you can see everything coming better. Put a bit of fat in the frying pan and I'm just going to pour now the flavours in here. I need to find my fork now. There's the fork. They look a lot better. Now it's got that flavouring. And I'll tell you what, it's a strong flavour as well. What we'll do is I'm only cooking these on a really low heat. You can see it there a bit better. I'm not going to blast them with loads of heat. I'll take your phone to have a better look. There we go, look at that people. <laughs> Even though I'm out in a... Apparently, haunted mill. I'm still cooking decent food. That's what's keeping me going here. I'm chuckling to myself. Black pudding for the morning. I can't believe it I'm, I'm still cooking decent meals, even though, like I've just said, I'm out in a, a mill what's apparently supposed to be haunted. <laughs> I'll bring you back when these are nearly, or when they are cooked, to be truthful. No, I'm just, uh, Try to turn these belly pork over. I don't want to burn one side too much. It looks alright though, doesn't it people? Look at that. They're cooking really good on that side. Oh, it's gonna fall off. Smell TV? Poor, what can I say it smells like? Alright, no racism behind this, but it smells like an Asian restaurant. That's what it smells like. Uh, yeah, basically that's what it smells like. A real nice Asian restaurant. They're not doing too bad, are they? Look at that. Fantastic. Right, so that's nearly done. Now what I'm going to do is stick some of this veg in. I'm not going to have all this veg, because I'm expecting that belly pot to uh, shrink a little bit. It ain't so far, so I'm not going to have all the veg. I'm going to dump it in anyway, look. Get it going. Red onion, can't beat a bit of red onion. Uh, no, we're almost putting it all in here. There we go. Let's put these plum tomatoes in. See how much is left? I'm picking through it. Just get it all on, stop messing around there. Very nice, that's all I say, very nice. I'll mix it up, let it cook a little bit longer, and I'll bring you back. Right, so what I've done is, I've just pulled the uh, belly pork out of the frying pan. I just want to give these uh, veg a nice simmer in all the flavours as well. That will be beautiful. Obviously I'm going to eat some of this belly pork as well while we're waiting. Look at that people. Who says you have to, you know, come out and have silly little camp food like burgers. Come out and enjoy yourself, what I say. Mmm, lovely. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to bang all my meat back on. Right, so, give it a little bit of a mix. I don't need to mix it because in a minute I'm going to pour it back into this uh, metal tin and I'm going to eat it out of that so I don't have to mess around with this red hot frying pan. I didn't bring any salt and pepper either. Now you see earlier in my video when I said I feel like I get a bit too confident and then I hear a strange noise. This is what's happening right now people. This ghosts around here. They'll be dying for some of this. You get it, ghosts are dying. <laughs> Alright, see you in a few minutes. Right, let's get all this back in this little tin now. Ah, oh, without burning myself too much, turn the gas off there. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, wait a time, come on. We can do this, people. Yes, bit of, bit of veggies still in it. Can get that out. Somehow or other. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, that's what. Right, there we go. I'm going to tuck into this 
Tell me what you think about the cooking. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll uh, see you when I've eaten it or half eaten it. It's up to you. <laughs> Look at the size of my portion. I know the few people on YouTube what say I eat a lot. Mm. That chilli is quite nice. Mm. Mm. This belly pork is beautiful. A little bit chewy, but it's not that I can't handle. I'm going to get off, I'm going to eat my tea, I'll see you in a bit. Right then people, I'm going to sleep, it's 11 o'clock, I have no reason to be awake now. Had something to eat, had a drink. I like that thing, it's going to stand on my head, doesn't it? See it there, it's going to stand on my head and squash me. Yeah, I've got no reason to be awake, there's no ghosts, so... If I can sleep, I'll go to sleep. If I can't, I'll bring you back through the night. If not, I'll definitely see you in the morning. So, good night. Good morning, people. I'm not going to really say morning. God, do I have a fat face on camera? Not sleep. Very well. I know I've said in all my videos, but tonight was the worst one, honestly. Or last night. I'm just nodding off. And it seemed like every time you nod off, something happened. Like a strange noise. But the wind as well. I think it's rained a little bit. So it's roof dripping as well. Just the echo carries the sound a bit more. And to be truthful, yeah, I did. You know what, I, I did. I think about three o'clock in the morning, I got nervous to help. I'm not gonna lie about it. Some I won't be doing a game by myself anyway. It was probably the longest night I've ever had out. So camping here alone, won't be by myself again next time. Give us your thoughts about it. Would you do that? If you didn't sleep well and you're a bit, you know, paranoia and every every noise you sort of like made an excuse in your own head. Ah, it's just probably this. I think it was that. But some of them I couldn't, you know, explain. Through recording, at the end of the video I'll play these little clips a few times over and you can hear the noise of what I'm on about. Where I've talked and I've stopped talking and you can hear something. So I'll put them few little clips on at the end of this video, but for now I'm going to get off anyway. And I'm going to uh, make some breakfast. So I'll see you in a bit. You know what, it's half past seven, and I'm still having to use the uh, torch on my phone to record you. And I've got my torch just resting in my boot. Gas off. Diddums. I hope you can see it. I'm just going to turn my gas up a little bit, speed up this boil. My hands are freezing. Please, people, don't comment saying get some gloves. There we go, it's soon going to get boiled in it. I'm using a beer cup this time. So I want a nice morning coffee.
perfect. If I turn my torch off, you can, if I can get the off button, you can clearly see in back there, big old roof, air conditioning. Well, it's, uh, it's starting to get light now, thank God. Yeah, it was a long night, honestly. I'm thinking last night, I think more people, you know, do camping and stuff. We should start doing this, you know, instead of being in woods all the time or I don't know, anyway, it's doing something a bit different, like camping in abandoned buildings like this. Because this really wakes all your senses up in your body. So you're on odd, you're on edge, on odd, you're on edge. You know, all your senses work, and it's weird how it, how it happens. Oh, I don't know what brand cup this is, everybody. I don't know what X that means for. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice it's getting light now, thank God. Oh, let's get some breakfast done. I want this bacon and my black pudding. Right, I'm gonna cook my breakfast now, even though it is morning. I didn't break that bottle where it was there previously. But yeah, even though it's morning, I'm not leaving. I'll put it down gently. I'm not leaving this meal without having some breakfast. It's not a cat in hell's chance. Can't get into my bacon. Come on. Listen to the noise, people. You ready? Oh yes. And we're going to be greedy. And I'm going to stick all seven pieces in. Just like that. So I love bacon. And then when this is nearly cooked, we'll stick some black pudding in. So they just need warming through them. They don't have to be cooked. But bacon does. You can eat bacon like that if you want, but. I want it cooked. I'll bring you back in a minute. Eh? Well, the bacon's looking nice. I'm get my new best thing on now. The black pudding. If I can get it open anyway. Oh yes. Stick them on there as it is. <laughs> Once again, people. I'm amazed where I am, and I'm still willing to cook something nice to eat. I think the idea of a stealth camping in the morning when you're cooking bacon might be slightly out of window. I don't know if someone's going to comment about that, so if they did, or they do comment, it's obviously not watching right to end out. But you need to eat, that's the main thing. And I need to remember to bring the frying pan handle, because it's getting impossible sorry, to uh, hold that pan now. Let's take a look at that, the black pudding's cooking already. Nice, very nice. Right, well, I've taken the bacon off. I'm just giving this black pudding a few seconds on each side. If you watch my other videos, you'll know that I like my black pudding slightly burnt. There we go, look at that. Now what we'll do now is stick the bacon back on. 
spread it around a little bit, uh, warm back up. Right, time to take it off and get eating. Mmm. That black pudding is really nice. See how light it is now? It took half an hour. Mm. It's not bad, is it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this. And I'm going to pack my stuff away. Put my car on because I'm getting cold. Then I'll come back to you. I'll show you just a minute bit outside. And remember what I do at the end of the screen? I put a link to that video I wrote about where I explored all the way around this mill. See you in a bit. Right, well, that's me done with. Hey, I want to go home now. I want to go to sleep. I've got to bed for a few hours. I'm not going to show you around, I said I would, I'm not going to do. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, press the subscribe, and I'll see you later on for another video. So, down to Jim, uh, Oscar Outdoors now, we'll see his video tonight, and we'll see how he does it. It's going to be interesting, I'll link his channel below, so you can see, go to his channel, see his version of this video. But for me, I'm going to get off home. So I'll see you later on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click. It's going to be on this side, I think. This is for the explore around the mill. I'll see you later on.